In a perfect world, we'd all be able to run right out and get the quarter million dollar sailboat of our dreams. However, my bank account has other ideas. I'm broke as shit. I am far more comfortable in the $50,000 or less category on the budget scale. I'm tapped out, Mark. American Express got a hitman looking for me. So today I'd like to discuss what I think could be the top three 30-footers that would be fantastic for coastal cruising, island hopping, and possibly the occasional Atlantic crossing for the solo sailor or a couple. Let's dive right into it today and see if one of these may work for you. You'd be surprised at some of the interior volume on these, as when compared to some of the older 40-footers, some of these really do come close as far as interior space. Let me know in the comments below which one of these is your favorite. I'll be covering more than three, so let's get started. All right, up first, we have a vessel you probably have never heard of, and I'm about to mispronounce the name, Elaine 333. This is a fantastic 30-footer. Now, this one focuses a bit more on the performance aspect of things while giving you a fantastic interior livable space. Coming in with a length at the waterline of 28.71, a length overall of 32.78, and a beam of 11.35. They make fantastic use of the interior on this vessel. She does have a fuel tankage of 22 gallons and a water tankage of 50 gallons. Now, if you're focused mainly on cruising coastally and island hopping, this is not the one that I would choose. This does have a draft of 6.23 feet. The reason for that is performance, and that would help a lot if you planned on doing an Atlantic crossing. However, if the majority or basically all of your sailing will be done coastal cruising and island hopping, that 6.23 foot draft is going to be a bit limiting and it's gonna cause you to, in the long run, spend more money because you'll have to anchor out further and take your dinghy more. This stuff all adds up over time when we are cruising on a budget. And when it comes to not killing our bank account, this one is a dream. It comes in at under $40,000. What? Why? You can pick these up 2001 or 2002 for $38,000, $37,000. So if your focus, like I said, is crossing the Atlantic, this would be the one that I would choose. If your focus is coastal cruising, island hopping, this is not the one that I would go with. Up next, we have what I think is the absolute best one out of the entire bunch for $50,000 or less. It comes in at longer than 30 feet. However, it will get you just about anywhere you would like to go. It is a CEA rated vessel. That means it is capable of offshore blue water cruising. So an Atlantic crossing in this, no problem. A Pacific crossing, no problem. As long as things are set up properly. The Genoa Sun Odyssey 35. This comes in right at the top of the budget, right around $47,000. However, you can pick yourself up a 2004 or a 2005 one for that. So you're starting with an absolute fantastic foundation. You will be able to sail for years and years to come with this vessel without having to do too much to it to keep it going. And for the budget of just under $50,000, you can pick one up ready to sail tomorrow and not needing any kind of a refit. And it just keeps getting better, coming in with the length of the waterline of 31.92, a length overall of 35, and a beam of 11.42. The draft on this is what makes it amazing. You have several keel options. You can actually get a swing keel on this, a shoal keel, or a deep keel. So your draft can be anywhere from 2.95 feet to 7.15 feet. It's all up to you and what type of sailing you're going to be doing. As I said previously, I really think this is the best one of the bunch. It checks all of the boxes. It also has a fuel tank of 35 gallons and a water tank of 81 gallons. With the ability to choose the different keel that suits your needs the best and coming in at less than $50,000 for a 2003 or newer, I really don't think there's a better vessel on the market currently in these conditions that checks all the boxes this one does. Now, of course, you can buy other vessels, older vessels, so-called blue water cruisers. However, you're just gonna have to pump a bunch of money into them. With this vessel, you can get it today for less than 50 and sail tomorrow. It all just depends on what best fits your needs. 
I do want to take a really quick second. I do have a discount code to the American Sailing Association membership. As you can see here on screen, there are several discounts that you are able to get once you become an American Sailing Association member. Discount code is linked below. You do save 10 bucks, and you can instantly make that right back. CETO membership, you get $20 off. It's an absolutely fantastic deal. Let me know in the comments below if you're an ASA member. If you're not, go become a member and let me know below. Moving right along, we have the Bavaria 31. Now this is one that is really, really meant for coastal cruising or island hopping. It would be fantastic for the solo sailor or a couple. It comes in with a length of the waterline of 27 feet, a length overall at 32.75 feet, and a beam of under 10 feet at 9.75 feet. So this is on the smaller side out of all the vessels we're gonna look at today. It does have a draft of under six feet at 5.67 feet, and it has a 40 gallon water tank as well as a 24 gallon fuel tank. But like I said, this would absolutely be much more tailored to the coastal cruiser island hopper. It would be absolutely fantastic for cruising around the Caribbean on a budget as your length of the water line is still under 33 feet. So snagging the occasional slip at the marina is not gonna cost you an arm and a leg. These currently come in on the market for right around $40,000. Now I think that the Juno 35 would be a much, much better option regardless of what your plans are, but this is definitely one to look at and consider. You can probably get this sometimes for right around 30,000, so if you can pick this up for $30,000 or less, it could be absolutely fantastic and you can enjoy several, several years of sailing the Caribbean on a budget with this vessel. You can get them ready to go right now, 2000 or newer. They're not gonna require a lot of work. Any type of maintenance on these because of the size is gonna be relatively inexpensive. It is definitely one to look at and might just fit your budget as well as your needs perfectly. Right back to the ocean cruising vessels, we have an Elaine 36, mispronounced once again. However, coming in with a length of the waterline of 31.17, a length overall of 36.09, and a beam of just under 12 feet at 11.78. It has a fantastic shallow draft at under 5 feet, coming in at 4.59. So perfect once again for the Bahamas, Caribbean, island hopping. This would be absolutely fantastic. It has a walkthrough transom and a swim platform coming in with a fuel tank of 24 gallons and a water tank of 66 gallons this vessel will once again get you anywhere that you would like to go Elaine's are incredibly strong vessels and they focus much more on the performance of the vessel these sail absolutely phenomenally and are easy to solo sail. They will get you wherever you would want to go. Now these come in currently on the market for right around 45,000. Use some negotiating skills and you can probably pick this up for right around 40 or less. You'll be able to get a 2000 or newer 36 footer with tons of room below, coming in at a two cabin or a three cabin version. So whatever fits your needs the best, but the Elaine 36 is absolutely one to take a look at and see. Now up next on the list, we have probably the biggest one, the Genoa Sun Odyssey 37. Coming in with a length at the waterline of 31.75, a length overall of 37.44, and a beam of 12.08. This one does have a bit deeper draft at 6.33 feet. However, this is also a CEA rated vessel. So once again, this vessel is more than capable of crossing oceans and blue water sailing. You can pick these up in the United States of America currently for right at the top of our budget at $49,000. You will get a 2003 or newer for that price. So once again, we've got a fairly new vessel, 20 years old or newer, capable of crossing oceans, fantastic at island hopping, coastal cruising, Bahamas, Caribbean, anywhere that you would want to go. 
Now my hopes in doing these types of videos is to simply show you what is available on the market, maybe bring some to light you hadn't been aware of or hadn't thought of before, and point out some very basic pros and cons when it comes to different types of sailing with certain vessels. Now if you do need help getting yourself on the water sooner than later and are feeling a bit overwhelmed, I do offer 101 Consulting. 101 Consulting comes in at $500 and I will walk you through the entire process of getting yourself a vessel. We can go over to surveys, we can discuss different vessels, and you get lifetime access to our members area where I have several hundred members all in various stages of purchasing a sailboat or taking sailing lessons. So it's a fantastic place to go to get information to help you get on the water sooner than later. If you sign up for our patron, it's only charged per month at $10 a month and you get access to the members area. It's a fantastic place to get information and help you get on the water sooner than later. Let me know in the comments if you like the video. Please take the time to comment. It really, really helps the YouTube algorithm and helps me get my videos shown to other people. So if you need help with consulting or you want to sign up for the members area, click the links below and let's get you started and get you on the water.